Hello everyone, today in Sanjay's cookery, we are going to see how to prepare a Arasim Parupasadam. Arasim Parupasadam is a Konganada dish. Needless to say, it is widely prepared in Coimbatore. And this particular recipe has got a mixture of rice and tuwarda. And we can also add a few veggies to it to make it even more nutrient. So this particular recipe is a quick one pot dish and it is ideally suitable for lunchbox lovers as it is loaded with nutrients along with certain veggies. It makes it even more flavorful and interesting. So before we go into the Konganada special Arasim Parapasadam, if you are watching my video for the first time, I would request you all to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon for further interesting recipes and notifications. I have taken one big cup of cooking rice. You can take any rice of your choice. For that, I have taken quarter cup of tuwarda. So, I have soaked it in water. Approximately around uh, 4 cups of water I have added and I have soaked it for about an hour. Some ghee required for final seasoning. 4 to 5 tomatoes roughly chopped. Around 15 small onions. 3 to 4 flakes of garlic. Some fresh curry leaves, some fresh coriander leaves and uh, some peppercorns. So for the seasoning, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of urad dal, 1 teaspoon of jeera, 2 red chilies split and 2 green chilies which has been split into 4. I have taken half a teaspoon of jeera powder, 3 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 and a half teaspoons of sambar powder, salt as per taste, hing or the sifatidia powder around half a teaspoon. Gingerly oil required for fry. I have heated up the pressure pan. I am adding around 3 to 4 tablespoons of gingerly oil. Gingerly oil tastes very good for this particular type of rice. Or you can even add groundnut oil if you have. If you don't have both the oils, you can add any oil of your choice. So my suggestion is if you add more oil, the chances of it getting burnt will be less. Once the oil gets heated up, I am adding the mustard seeds and then the urad dal and the Jeera. Once the mustard seeds are getting to splatter, I am also adding the king or the asafoetidia. Also adding the red chilies and also the green chilies. Once the mustard seeds fully splatter, I am adding the curry leaf. As far as possible, add fresh curry leaf for this dish. It is going to uh, enhance the flavor of this arsene parapu sadam. What I have done today is I have actually crushed the small onions and the garlic along with the black peppercorns using this chisel. So that give you a crushed taste flavor instead of just adding or if you don't have this you can always slice it and add it as well. But I prefer adding it this way slightly smashed. Adding the smashed onions, garlic and the black pepper and let's try this for a few minutes. At this stage, I am also adding the turmeric powder and some amount of salt so that the onions get fried faster. If you feel that the oil is less, you can always add more so that when you are going to pressure cook it, the rice does not get burnt at the bottom. Once the onions and garlic have got fried and the raw smell of the onions and garlic have gone, I am adding the tomatoes. So I prefer to add more uh, tomatoes for this particular dish because we are not going to add tamarind or any other sour things here. So it is just the flavor of the tomatoes. And believe me, the flavor of tomatoes gives you a very good taste for this particular dish. Now we are going to cook the tomatoes until it becomes little soft and mushy. We can even cover this and cook for about 2 minutes. After about 2 minutes, just opening the pressure pan. And I am seeing that the tomatoes got nicely cooked. It's nice and mushy here. And the oil is also coming out from the sides. So at this stage, I am going to add half a teaspoon of jeera powder, sambar powder. I am adding about one and a half spoons of sambar powder. I am also adding some fresh coriander leaves. So that the flavor of the coriander leaves also will get in the gravy. So I am just going to cook it for another minute or so. After about a minute, I am going to add the rice and dal which has been soaked for about one hour. So 
it's better to soak for a longer time so that the you can see that the dal is nicely soaked so that it will cook faster another tip which i want to mention is if you are in a hurry you can always have hot water so that it will fasten the cooking i have added approximately 4 cups of water so finally i'm just going to add some ghee coriander leaves and we are going to pressure cook this for about two whistles and we are going to keep it in simmer for about 5 minutes so after two to three whistles i'm just opening the pressure pan yes it's perfectly cooked mm getting a very good flavor of the rice and dal and along with some spices so i'm going to just nicely mix it up so finally for the final temperament i'm adding some ghee and some fresh coriander leaves as well nicely mix it up so the very tasty yummy coimbatore special arsi in parpasandam or the rice and dal rice is ready this is really mouth watering and a very quick dish and nutritious too and uh, this can be a very good lunch box special as well so your kids are going to just love it so i hope you'll try this recipe and if you like it please share it with your friends and relatives have a great day